Hey, welcome to today's podcast. This is Michael Becchio with Brilliant Perspectives. Today I'm excited to share an excerpt from Graham's audiobook, The Nature of Freedom. This book is part of the Letters from God series, a unique collection of literature in which Graham writes from the perspective of the Father and speaks to the listener from God's point of view. This kind of partnership with the Lord through His indwelling presence is something Graham crafted as a devotional tool to empower everyone who listens to understand the truth of how God sees them as a beloved child. Each chapter demonstrates the same simple, practical, and profound theology that Jesus used throughout the Gospels. This book has been massively impactful to thousands of people since its release in 2017. I know you'll be blessed, so sit back and enjoy. This is letter number one. It's over. Something got finished before you started. Here are the key scriptures. Revelation 13, verse 8. Genesis 1, verse 26. John 19, verse 30. And Romans 6, verses 3 to 11. Beloved, when we created mankind, the greatest possible gift that we could bestow was freedom. In order for you to be free to choose your way, we had to remove our control over you as a possibility for your life. The essence of control is limitation, the curbing of free will and the repression of the individual. If you are to be fully made in our image, then you must have the same freedom. We knew that freedom of choice would take some people away from our loving lifestyle. We do not wish to control anyone or anything, but rather we want to walk with people through life situations and be in charge of the process of redemption. With that in mind, before the introduction of light, we made a decision that Jesus would become Emmanuel and save people from their sins by taking their place in sacrifice. In due time, Jesus fulfilled that purpose perfectly. And now here you are with us. Before you were even born, your redemption was already completed. Not just forgiveness from sin and self-destruction, but also the elimination of all forms of negativity in your heart and mind. No anxiety or fear or panic or worry. All forms of dread, every negative thought, every negative emotion, every painful word and every evil deed done away with. True liberation. On the cross, you were in Jesus' mind, heart, and vision. Jesus could see the total freedom that death would bring to you. Your death is part of his death. A life for a life. Your new life lived in a joyful partnership of learning and becoming. Breaking the mold. In my eyes, your old life has already met its demise and it is finished. The cross has set you free from your old man, from a sin nature and a selfish lifestyle. When I died... So did you. I did not just die for you. I died as you. When I was buried, I took your old man with me. And when I was raised from the dead, I left your old man behind. The old you cannot ever be resurrected. It is gone, finished, forever. You died in me. 
And then a new version of you was raised from the dead through the Holy Spirit's glorious working. Now you and I are walking together in a completely new and totally different life. Your old self was crucified with me so that everything connected to that life could never make it past the grave. We are uniting together always, and no one and nothing can ever separate us. Beloved, I am so excited that you and I are together as resurrected beings. All the old has passed away, and you are my new creation. I give you the beautiful, always amazing Holy Spirit to empower and support all your learning as you experience my life in you. You are no longer a slave to sin. It's no longer your nature. I have removed it. All that remains is your attachment through memory to a habit which can be broken by our partnership and relationship. The one who is dead is entirely free. And I will teach you and show you the reality and the power of that freedom. <laughs> wow. I love the truths here and the way God's unveiled heart comes through. Hearing from this perspective has been deeply freeing for me and many others. I really hope you enjoyed it. Allow me a moment to read some of the stories of impact that people have shared with us about this book, The Nature of Freedom. This one's from Jean, who wrote, This is a great title for setting people free. I've read this and keep reading it. Every time I do, there's something else that Papa has to say to me. I've been a Christian since 1986, but only truly found the wonderful grace of God about 10 years ago. <laughs> My life and the way I view Father God has been turned upside down. He loves me because he loves me because he loves me because he loves me. I just want to share this with everyone I meet. I want to shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> I love that testimony. This next one is from Louise, whose review is titled, The Most Uniquely Written and Life-Changing Book. In her review, Louise goes on to say, This book is an absolute must for every child of the living God. If you're not secure in his love for you or struggle to trust in his plans for your life, this book is for you. I love the way it's written in the first person. When I'm needing a special touch from the Lord, feel a bit distant, or just need to know he's got me and everything's going to be okay, I pick up this book and read a few more pages. It's like a healing balm or a love tonic. I feel so much better and secure and safe in God's arms after I read just a couple of pages. I have never read a book written like this before, and I think this is one I'm going to pick up regularly for the rest of my life. Wow. Thank you, ladies, for these rich testimonies. Beloved, what you just heard is why we do what we do at Brilliant Perspectives. If you're interested in hearing more from this book or want to dive deeper into this material, we're here for you. Check in the description of this podcast episode for more details on the book, as well as the video training series that goes with it on Brilliant TV. Also, tune into the new series of Facebook Live Challenge events that we're launching, which are based around this title. The first one starts next week, Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. Again, that's this coming Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. You can find all links in the description for this podcast. Thank you for joining us and have a fantastic day.